In the last year we've seen an exponential rise in these sample drill beats and specifically samples of these 2000s hits. Now we've seen this in the last couple of years with artists like A1 and J1, Switch OTR and Central C specifically. They've all used these little samples which have either been acoustic versions of these songs or been the real versions with some altered sounds. More recently Central C's produced a nostalgia sampled Let Go by Passenger in his song which is also titled Let Go and these sampled beats are actually pretty easy to make so I'm going to show you how to make one today. If you go on to enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like down below, comment what you'd like to see next on the channel and yeah without further ado let's get into this beat okay now the song that we've chosen for this video is avril levine's complicated and this song is actually played at 78 bpm currently a drill tempo at 140 but we're going to take it down to 78 bpm and then we're going to change it up okay so we're going to take this section of the song here I'm going to flip this into drill, so what we first need to do is we need to send this into stretch mode and then we need to change up to drill tempo. Now 78 is actually 156 in uh, double time, so we're just going to stretch that out and then go up to 140. So it'll be a bit slower than the original song, so what we're going to actually do as well is we want to pitch shift it. Going to add an EQ as well just to cut out the highs and the lows because we don't want those harsh frequencies in there. And what we might also do is we'll make this unique, so we'll double it up and then we'll take this one down. We could also try it up as well. I think it does sound better down. I don't want this texture throughout, so I'm just going to cut out this bit here for the lower part. And then the lower part's only going to come in on bar 4. Just add a bit of an extra texture, but nothing too much so that it sounds polluted. Also, don't forget when you're sampling, please also change this declicker mode because it will remove all those unnecessary click sounds that you hear in samples. And once you render out sounds, it's also very hard for people that are using your samples to cut them out. So please do make sure that you get rid of those clicks beforehand. Okay, now I'm going to go and add everything else, but before we do that, I need to let you know that this is actually going to be part of a drill loop kit. So if you want to go check that out, there'll be a link in the description for that. Here are some previews of some other samples that will also be included in that pack. Yeah, let's get back onto the beat now. The final thing I just want to add onto this as well, after I've just added that guitar melody, I just want to add in a pad, just to add a bit more of an atmosphere and a bit more of a texture into the sound. Okay, right, so we've got all the melodic components, we've done all of this stuff for this loop, and now all I need to do is just go away and add drums onto it. this video if you enjoyed hit that like button down below there's also a link below for the kit if you want to go check out the last video i did on how to make clavish beats click here thank you guys for watching this video see you in a bit